So I finally got around to watching that My Sex Junk video, and this was a couple of days ago. The reason I didn't hop on it before was because I knew if I was going to watch it and respond to it, it would likely be reaction-based, and reaction-based content isn't really... It, it don't really work for me. Unless I'm reacting with a friend, because then I can, like, riff at it with a friend right next to me, but... That's not gonna happen. Anyway, so I actually got around to watching the video, and it wasn't really as bad as a lot of people have said it is. They kind of overreacted to it. And this is from all sides of the spectrum, not just the all right, but also normies as well. Just they were acting like it was so deprived but really I think the big reason why the video we saw of it I just saw, watched a clip of the whole song and Bill Knight giving the introduction and everything a reason why they had such a strong reaction was it was really cringy and I like that that's a term nowadays because Previously, we did not have a term like that in the English language for just feeling embarrassment for someone who isn't feeling the embarrassment for their actions. The song performance and the choice of having that segment is really embarrassing. I would be very embarrassed if I was a producer really just supervising and looking at that kind of content and saying, I right, it's cool. And I began to think about it and to me a big reason why it's so cringy isn't even the message, which is, you know, if you put a penis in your booty hole you might get aroused because sexuality is in the spectrum. That's the message, but that's not really why it just came across as weird to me. A big reason why it came across as weird to me is the choice of having that message in a song. Now, for a lot of you who don't know, music isn't really marketed towards people who want a direct message from it. They do not want to be given a message. They want to get a certain vibe and feeling from it. This is why, from like, let's take Lady Gaga. This performer got a lot of Lady Gaga comparisons. Lady Gaga had a song, Born This Way, which was saying essentially, my sexuality is what I was born with. So if it's deviant, that's just, that's just the fate I was handed. And you gotta cut me some slack. She didn't really, in that song... The message wasn't really made explicit. You could listen to it out of context and not get that that's what the song is about. Because it's just meant to incite emotion. That's what music is about. And there's a reason why educational songs may stay in our heads, but they won't necessarily stay in our hearts. Like, when I think of educational music, I think of Zero My Hero. But I guess maybe kids born nowadays will think of my sex chunk, which, eh, I don't really feel anything about that other than it's kind of weird. I think that's a big reason why the whole performance was awkward, and even when I was thinking back to it, I didn't listen to it enough to get it stuck in my head. It's a very expository song. Like, she switches into these k talking segments. Uh, it's not even rap. It's like country music how they start talking mid-song. Just saying what the song is about. And... Yeah. It was a very weird choice. I think that's a big reason why a lot of normies who might even like something like Dear White People might not enjoy because 
a big reason how people get conditioned is they can be entertained. And they can use escapism to get conditioned. And there's not a lot of escapism in that type of content. Now, to talk about Bill Nye the Science Guy's 90s program, I watched a couple of episodes of it. Like, I'm born in 95, so in terms of 90s kid syndrome, I don't really have a lot of it. Because I don't remember a lot of it. But that's, that's that thing where you're in a science classroom, they put the VCR with it, and you watch like a segment on a show talking about a specific topic if the science teacher ever gets lazy. And I can see that as a very self-gratifying, entertaining, escapism show. It's, they remind me of people nowadays who enjoy TED Talks. But regardless, that I can see how it would be entertaining. I really wouldn't have much to comment on since I know in Bill Nye's actual episode he spoke about it in a similarly expository narrative, but the song was just weird and felt anachronistic. So that's it, this is your boy Miss Wonka 7. Suck my dick.